Look at this guy. I'm trying to set up the camera on the tripod here to get on with this and he's just right in here like a dirty shirt. So I've got to get to some halter training and uh, hopefully get him halter trained for the vet. And I just got to get him camera trained. Like, get off the camera. Alright, so we got to set this thing up center and uh, I'm going to grab a halter and go in with them. Okay. Pet them. It's starting to rain just a little bit. Let's just spit and see what we can get done in a short amount of time. Okay, I'm in. Now, I've done a little bit of touching them with the rope so far, so I'm gonna see if I can't continue that on. He's done quite well to be touched while I've got a rope in my hand, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna kind of push him a bit this fine day. That's okay, but you'll be all right. Let's clean your eyeballs again. It's got just a little bit of dust here and there. I think horses appreciate the cleanings. Okay, so we're going to try to continue on where we left off. No, oh, he's a little worried. Let's pet him. Let him know he's okay. All right. That's good. Okay, so we're back to where we started, <clears throat> or ended, sorry, and uh, let's see what we can get done. I want him to come to me, a little pressure, good boy. Okay, a little more, good boy, a little more, good boy. So when I'm working on this, you know, he already draws to me. But I need to be able to pull him sometimes too, and it's really actually only for the purposes of um, not having him resist sort of that pressure. That's pretty good. So it may or may not be uncomfortable, hard to say. I do want this rope to not concern him, so I am going to play with it a little, and then I'll go back to draw. Good boy. Pet him, move the rope around a little, go to a different spot, pet him, draw. Now we'll wait. I got him all worried. Good boy. Good boy. That's good. They're okay. Now watch him. See, new spot. Draw. It's not a lot. We don't need to apply a lot here. I don't need him. There, it's good. I'll pet him with the rope as well a little. And then he's good. The rope is just, it's more for me than you, pal. Good boy. So, let's try to get a couple steps. One, two, good boy. Uh, I'll come to the side of him. And just uh, pet him, to be honest, because we're going to sort of stress him a little with this. He's got a rope on the other side of his body. And you notice I keep my arm up, a forearm and an elbow, just in case. Let's scratch him. Draw. Good. Now my feet are moving, so I'm actually, it's actually a little bit of a cheat because he already follows me around. Pet him there, that was really good. I don't know if you see a difference there, a bit of a change for him. Draw sideways. Reach for his face. He says, that worries me a little, but I'm okay. Yes, you are, you're fantastic. I'm gonna try the other side. Now he'll likely not let me onto the other side, but I'm gonna try anyways. A block, and then we'll draw, block, draw, block. 
draw, block, draw, block. <laughs> no, don't switch sides. Don't switch sides. Just come this way, make a right hand turn. Good boy. Block, pet him, scratch him, touch him. Now I've done a lot of scratching on this guy. He, uh, he's pretty good. I haven't really done a lot with my hands. I've been using the rake. So I'm gonna let that rope go. Draw it up over him. It's not worried, I'll take it off. Okay, that's a good start. I feel a little bit more confident about locking something onto him a bit better and giving this a go. And so I've done a bunch of this uh, now. <clears throat> I did a little bit yesterday, did a little bit the day before of putting a rope on him and stuff. But I haven't really properly wrapped anything around him other than what you've seen. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna try to touch him in two spots. Now the thing about haltering a horse is you gotta kinda get around them, touch them in more than one spot and it can be concerning. So if I touch here on his neck, bottom of his neck, and here on the top, you'll see his head is going up and he's a little bit more alert. Uh, it may not look like much, but it's something, and I really want him to stay calm. So I'm gonna try again, top and bottom. That's a little constricting for a horse. So I'm just going to touch a lot, two spots, two contact points, with the rope too. It's actually, he's doing fantastic. Okay, and then I'll leave him. I'll say, look, two contact points, you're cool. You can handle that. You'll be all right. Good boy. Okay, do it again. It would be nice if he didn't look like he was gonna go away from me, didn't raise his hand, head up. Because again, what we want is for him to stay lulled. I don't want to really go beyond that threshold if I don't have to. I don't have to. That's just it. Just clean his eye a bit more. Okay, so let's keep going. So again, what's our threshold? Try one hand. His head goes up a smidge. I'll back off. Maybe I'll just touch his nose briefly. Say thanks. Wait till he comes down, draws towards me. Good boy. Okay, one hand. A little bit of concern, a little bit higher up. Let's try the withers. Let's scratch a little. I know he likes a good scratch. Okay, so we won't ambush him with another touch without coming in and know, letting him know one hand is gonna be here, one hand will be here. One hand will be on this side. Sometimes it's quite hard for horses to handle stuff on both sides of their body. So I want him to know I'm just touching. And if we go back to the Jim Masterson stuff that we talk about here and there, um, my touch is kind of grape level, you know, not too much, but enough to be a touch. So come in again, bottom, top, withers, side, other side, withers, side, off. And his head's going up and he's getting a little bit worried. And I might just ask him to just relax. Say, it's cool, man. We're best friends. There, his eyes got really quiet. He looks like he'd like to be a good friend. So I'll come in again. Touch, touch, touch. There's less of a response. We're looking to stay there. Come over the other side. There, he's worried. I'm not going to lock this thing in. Okay, touch, 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 and get out. Touch the nose, and off we go. Because <clears throat> I can teach him, good boy, good boy, I can teach him a pattern that I can use and borrow later. It'll be part of his tool set. It'll be a series of touches, rope comes over, I'm going to lock it this time. We're on. So I've got a, a cheater halter. <laughs> I think I've explained my cheater halter before, where I put a knot, where there's a knot on the end and it locks into the loop. 
So we're going to have him lead around. I'd like him to stay straight with me. He isn't. He's kind of keeping me in his left eye. So I'm going to keep working on having myself in his right eye and having him come towards. See how he stops. He'd like to switch over. So I'll ask him not to. So stay straight with me if you could. Now here's where we do our five pounds thing. We wait. Hold. There. Good boy. I'll go to him. I'll say thanks. I really needed you to come with me. It's really super important. The draw again. Fingers, you know, two or three pounds probably this time around. It's not much. I'll pet him again real soft. Come back again to here. Two pounds, three pounds maybe. Okay, he's not responding. I'm going to step back to hopefully draw him. Five pounds. That's good. That's good. Okay, keep coming around to the side that he's not that good with. Draw. Draw. Keep drawing. Good. Release. Draw. Release. Draw. Now I've got his left eye again. Good boy. Block. Touch. Rub the eye. Tell him he's a good boy. Come around. Touch. Touch on the chest. Neck. Withers. Rope. Comes off. Release. That is the procedure I will be doing. And we want this rope to be good around his face someday. Maybe today. He's doing so well. He might trust me enough to get it around his nose. Maybe not. Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Switch sides. Don't do that. Switch. Switch. Good boy. Get quiet. Be quiet. Something like that. All right. Try again. Because he's not too stressed out. We're okay. Good boy. Back up. Have a little think, both of us. Good boy. So we're getting along pretty darn good. I'm not too worried. So I'm going to let him sit on that briefly. Oh, he says that's nice. Not too much. Now the other side. Fantastic. That's a nice thing to see. I'm really scratching. Hopefully you guys can see this. There. Good boy. Leave him at that. Come around. Walk away a little. He might come back. Let's get him a little more front and center for the camera. See what he wants. He says, how about the side? How about it? It's the first time I've kind of felt reasonably safe. Really got his ear here. I'm a little nervous now. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, big shake. See how he had to lift his head up there? He's a little worried. Wonder if we can get the other side. Remember, we want to do both sides. If we can, at all times, no matter what we're doing. That's good. He might have a shake, he might not. He's thinking. Hello, friend. Good boy. It's good. I'm going to leave him at, at that right now. Wanting. Wanting a little more. Let's stay good friends. Okay, that's it for now, pal. I'll do more a little later.